And so it's generally accepted that people with reduced vision or any other eye disease, other than the cataracts, probably shouldn't consider this. Hey, good optometry morning. So everyone that gets macular degeneration will get some degree of cataracts, but not everyone that gets a cataract will get macular degeneration. Hey there, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube Eye Doctor, and today we're gonna be talking about cataracts and macular degeneration. Now, now these are both very, very common eye conditions that develop as we get older. And there's no law or reason why you can't get more than one eye condition that can affect you. So we're gonna answer the question whether having cataract surgery is gonna make your macular degeneration worse in just a moment. And But make sure you stay to the end because I've got a lot of frequently asked questions related to those people that have macular degeneration and cataract surgery. And there's some considerations that you really need to think about. But first, let's just talk a little bit about cataract surgery and macular degeneration. Now, I'm not going to go into a full depth detail on this. I've got a couple of other videos that you can look at up here that talk about both of these conditions. But as a quick summary, cataracts is when the lens behind the iris starts to get cloudy as a normal aging change. That happens to all of us. And then if you get cataract surgery, you remove that natural lens and put an acrylic lens implant in place and you can see much, much better. Very common procedure, probably the most common surgery that's done in the world and it has fantastic results. Macular degeneration is a premature aging of the tissues at the back of your eye, particularly in the area of the retina called the macula. And that the macula is the area of the retina that deals with your central kind of 10 degrees vision. There are some treatments that in some forms of macular degeneration can slow down the progression of it, but we don't have a cure or something that can reverse macular degeneration. So there are a lot of people, like I said, that have both of these conditions. Because we know everyone, if you live long enough, you're going to get a cataract in some degree or another. Cataracts usually develop in their late 60s, early 70s. A lot of people getting cataract surgery in their late 60s, early 70s. Macular degeneration might develop a little bit later, maybe in our 60s, 70s, 80s is when macular degeneration, but it's very, very common to have both these conditions at the same time. So the question is, if you do need cataract surgery, the always the concern is, is that going to make my macular degeneration worse? And where this question comes from, at least in our field, is there are a couple of really big eye studies that were focusing on cataract surgery. And they were called the Beaver Dam Study and the Blue Mountain Eye Study. And these were huge studies that looked at the progression of cataracts and eye disease in these groups of patients. And both of these studies indicated that if you have cataract surgery, it might make your macular degeneration worse. Now, there have been a lot of studies after this that have said, no, if you do cataract surgery, it will not make your macular degeneration worse. So what's the real answer in this situation? So what is the concern with cataract surgery that might actually make the macular degeneration worse? The issue is, is in cataract surgery, or any surgery for that matter, you're cutting and changing the tissue, and that's going to cause some amount of inflammation. And that's part of the healing process in any surgery. Macular degeneration at its heart is an inflammatory condition where there's a lot of inflammation on the retina tissue and that can be resulting in vision loss. So the thought is if you're inducing some inflammation in the front part of the eye, is that inflammation going to make things at the back part of the retina worse? And the answer to this question is it depends. And it depends on a number of things depending on what type of macular degeneration and what stage it might be at. So what we know is that the recent studies indicate that if you have a dry form of macular degeneration, doing cataract surgery will not make your macular degeneration worse. And if you have a stable form of wet macular degeneration, it will not make your wet macular degeneration worse. And if you don't have macular degeneration, getting cataract surgery will not cause or increase the risk for you to develop macular degeneration. So that sounds like everyone. So who are we really concerned about having cataract surgery? It's the individuals that have wet macular degeneration that is not stable. So one of the treatments for wet macular degeneration is doing anti-VEGF injections into the eye and they're injecting a medication called anti-VEGF. These medications reduces the stimuli for the eyes to produce more abnormal blood vessels that are really leaky under the retina. And so this is a fantastic advancement that we've had for the last decade to treat wet macular degeneration. And it really can slow down the progression and halt the really severe forms of wet macular degeneration. So the problem is, is that these anti-VEGF injections, they don't last a long time. 
And so you need to have repeated injections every four to six weeks to reduce those blood vessels from growing in until eventually that whole process or inflammatory and new blood vessel growth in the back of the eye due to macular degeneration subsides. And so if someone is currently undergoing some treatments for wet macular degeneration, namely anti-VEGF injections inside the eye, probably don't want to be doing cataract surgery until that wet macular degeneration has quietened down. So if we establish that you can definitely have cataract surgery if you have macular degeneration, there are still some considerations that you need to think about before you have your cataract surgery. So number one, you're going to probably be seeing a cataract surgeon and a retina specialist if you have both these conditions. And it can be a little bit confusing because you're both going, I see my optometrist, he's an eye doctor. I see my cataract surgeon, he's an eye doctor. I see my retina specialist, he's an eye doctor. Like, can I just see one? Why do I need to see all these specialists? But in the eye care field, the ophthalmologist and the specialists are very, very specialists. So the retina specialists, they focus only on retina and they don't like to deal with cataract things. The cataract surgeons and the cataract specialists only like to deal with cataract surgery and they're not experts and they don't like to deal with retina issues. So you need to see both of these doctors, be prepared for that, and you, these doctors need to communicate with each other and sometimes we don't do that very well, but we need to do that in your situation. So one of the things that's gonna happen if you have macular degeneration is your retina specialist is gonna kinda of have to sign off and say, hey, it's okay for you to proceed to get cataract surgery. So don't be surprised if you're gonna have a lot of appointments before you end up getting cataract surgery. So the other consideration is we don't have a way to predict how much of your vision is being affected by macular degeneration and how much is being affected by the cataracts. And oftentimes, by our clinical judgment, we can give a rough estimate thinking, okay, I think maybe about half the, your vision loss is due to the macular degeneration, half is due to the cataracts, or most is due to the macular degeneration, or most is due to the cataracts, but we can't know for sure. So going into cataract surgery, you need to be prepared that your vision won't be corrected to 100%. And you still may have some reduced vision and it may not correct it to what you're hoping for. So you have to have an open mind that it may not correct your vision as well as it would in someone that doesn't have macular degeneration. But we do know that everyone that has cataract surgery, it's gonna get some form of improvement. Now, it may not give you some improvement on your visual acuity and your ability to see details and read and see people's faces better. But we do know it will absolutely improve the amount of light coming into your eye, which will help with some of the contrast, it will help with the brightness of the image, and it could help with some of your peripheral vision. And so we know that there will be some improvement in the quality of the vision, but it might not improve your visual acuity. So another question is, is a lot of people that are have macular degeneration, they're taking AREDS multivitamins designed to reduce the progression of their macular degeneration. And the question is, do you need to stop those before the cataract surgery? And absolutely not. You don't need to stop any of your AREDS multivitamin medications before the cataract surgery. The other question is, how soon can you have another injection inside your eye after cataract surgery? And oftentimes you can have that injection a few weeks after, but there needs to be communication between your retina specialist and your cataract surgeon to just clarify, hey, what's going to happen? When do I need, and, and plan out when you need the next injection and plan out your cataract surgery so that's appropriate. And now the other consideration that you need to have is in cataract surgery, they're often they're going to put a lens implant in the eye, and which lens implant you choose might be dependent on your macular degeneration. There is this very, very specialized telescopic lens implant that is available that they can put in, designed to kind of magnify image and allow you to see things a little bit detailed. And this is intended for people that have reduced vision. It's kind of like looking through a telescope or a binocular in that one eye. I mention it because it is out there and some people might be aware of it, but you need to be very, very careful because these lens implants are permanent and using a telescopic device is not always easy for someone to use or adapt to. And so it can be very difficult to take that lens out and put a new in. So I would caution you before you proceed with that specialty telescopic lens implant. Now, as far as other implants go, you because macular degeneration is already reducing your vision, you don't wanna create a situation of a lens that might reduce contrast or impair that quality of the image that you're getting in any way. And so it's generally accepted that people with reduced vision or any other eye disease other than the cataracts probably shouldn't consider the specialty lenses like the multifocal or the extended depth of focus lenses that you can get with cataract surgery. I would go with the standard monofocal lens implant 
because that makes things a lot less complicated. Now, the only exception to that is a toric lens. There are toric lenses that are designed to correct your astigmatism, and I've got some videos on that, the toric lens as well. If you need a toric lens or could benefit from that, by all means, absolutely go ahead with that toric lens because that can give you some benefits of reducing the amount of astigmatism after cataract surgery. And the other consideration that you might want to have is what is the final prescription that you want to end up with after the cataract surgery. So when the cataract surgeon takes the natural lens out of your eye and puts an implant lens in, they can change your final prescription. And most of the time, they're going to make it so you can see pretty well in the distance or at the very least see kind of arm's reach distance um, so you do not not as quite as dependent as on glasses as what you were before. Now, the interesting things, if you happen to be highly myopic, and those are the people out there that are high myopes, like over minus four, what you know is without your glasses or contact lenses, you can hold things very, very close and focus on them. And that gives you a magnification effect. And there could be an argument made that if you have macular degeneration, you could really benefit from the improved magnification of holding things closer, up close. And if you are left to be more nearsighted or myopic after the cataract surgery, and let's say minus two, minus four, minus six, um, what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to hold things up closer without glasses or contact lenses and see some of the details. Now that also going to mean you're going to need glasses or contact lenses to help you see in the distance and see some details. So it's going to increase your dependency on seeing things far away, but it might help with your ability to see some details and magnification up close. So that's an important question you might want to have with your optometrist about the optics and what magnification you might want to end up with after cataract surgery. If you want to learn a little bit more about macular degeneration, both the wet and dry forms, you want to watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.